right, welcome back everybody. Uh, so tonight I decided I was gonna make some uh, homemade salsa uh, using only the uh, ingredients of the vegetables that I have in the garden. So the first thing I wanna use is an onion that I have. I've been growing this for a while now, so I'm gonna pull this sucker up. And this is one of the things I'm gonna put in my salsa. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. Hey, welcome back everybody. Um, tonight I am doing homemade salsa out of uh, all the vegetables that I picked out of the garden. Uh, Y'all seen earlier that I got this onion out of there, so I will be using that. But all this is stuff that I got out of the garden tonight. It's all fresh, it's all organic. Um, so let's get started. So the first thing I like to use these little uh, tomato or cherry tomatoes. Some people call them tomatoes. That's what I like. You can use uh, the big tomatoes if you like. You just have to cut them up. But anyway, so what I do is I just I fill up my little bowl here with tomatoes. Oops, that bug got away from me. <laughs> All right, we'll give that a little blend. Put this big one in here now that I got room to put it in there. I might have to cut that sucker up a little bit. Hold on one second. Best knives in the world. These suckers are super sharp. I really like these knives. I'm gonna cut this sucker in half. All right. Clean that up really good. That looks pretty good, I think. All right, now we can start adding all of our other little vegetables. So I think the first thing, I want to put this onion in. And what I'll, what I'll do, since um, I, I planted this one from uh, an onion that I got from the grocery store, I just cut the end off that has the roots and I replanted it, and this is what it grew into. I want to do the same thing. I'm just going to cut the end off where the roots are at, <clears throat> and then I'll replant that and it'll grow me another onion. That's pretty neat, huh? Get this outer skin off of there. Not gonna need that. If you've never made salsa before, you wanna kinda go slow with it. Just to add a little bit at a time. So I want you to do that little bit of onion for now. And I like garlic in my salsa, so we're gonna put a, Tell you what, garlic goes a long way, so it doesn't take much. Put that in there. And I got, I got a jalapeno I'm gonna put in there, but I'm gonna, I am gonna take the seeds out of my jalapeno because I don't like my salsa very hot. So we're gonna cut that in half and get all the seeds out of it. Okay. Drop that in there. I'm gonna put this little pepper in there. This pepper's not hot, so I'm gonna put the whole thing in there. Just kind of slice it up a little bit. And then we got a hot banana pepper. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take the seeds out of it. You can notice I'm only using half of each one of these ingredients just cause you have to start off slow and build it up to taste. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of cilantro in there. We'll try that for now. Bring that up really, really good. thing I need to do. Well that's looking pretty ain't it? Gotta add a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. All right, 
about time for a taste test. Good and chunky, I like that. Mm. That's very good. Try this other chip here. Uh, don't like double dipping. Nobody likes a double dipper. I think I need just a little bit more flavor. So I'm gonna put a little bit, a little bit of extra in each of each vegetable in there. See how it turns out. Okay, after uh, adding the other halves of my vegetables to the to my salsa and blended it up real good, put some more salt and pepper into it and gave it fix and give it another taste test here. Try this little piece first. Well, that didn't work out very well. Hold on one second. There we go. Don't that look delicious? Got some good chunks of onion and peppers in there. Mmm. Tastes like summertime. Man, that cilantro gives a very good flavor. Y'all need to try to make some homemade salsa. <laughs> Get on out of here. <laughs> Bye, y'all.